<laughs> Welcome to Otaku Daikun. We are going to be playing a bit of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, most recently, I just was able to, after like spending 200 hours in the game or so, <clears throat> reach the point where I can take on some of the big super bosses on foot, basically, um, which is something I had mentioned that you could do in my uh, video on JRPG battle systems. So I'm going to take a look at basically what goes into taking on these enemies. So you got my character Sarah. She wants to say hi. hi. We'll take a look at what we're look dealing with. I got most of this technique from a different video before. Um, basically showing how to use an infinite overdrive as well as a lot of potential up to strengthen your character. So you go in, um, I've got my arts set up like this. Um, the left few are just regular melee uh, attacks with a long sword. And the right here, I've got a lot of uh, two major TP up, uh, or TP based attack moves, uh, Blossom Dance and Incendiary Edge. You can really substitute this build for anything as long as it has uh, a lot of potential, uh, meaning attacks that cost TP. But um, <clears throat> one of the things that we depend on here, at least for the long sword, is um, offensive stance. Your aura just makes all your attacks really good and also boosts your uh, TP growth. And our other best friend is Ghost Walker, which is pretty much only available for dual guns. Um, basically means that some of the big guys, if they're like level 90, your level cap is at 60, they're gonna beat the crap out of you if you can't dodge their attacks. So this really helps with that. You have to be constantly reapplying it throughout the battle and hoping they don't kill you before you kill them. <laughs> but I think one of the big deals he'll, uh, here is the skills I've got. We've got boost potential by 20%. Again, potential is the stat that increases your damage for any moves, any skills, rather arts, that take, um, that cost TP in order to use. And this next one, uh, TP overdrive. While you're in overdrive, every time you use an art, it's gonna increase your TP by uh, 150. Really important. The goal here is to get into kind of an infinite overdrive, which means while you're in overdrive, you need to get another uh, 3,000 TP so that you can renew your overdrive and keep it going indefinitely. Again, boosts TP by 60 when using a melee art. Extends overdrive duration by 10 seconds. I just tried to put everything on I could to make overdrives as uh, OP as I could get them. And boosts maximum TP by 1,500. That's really good. Um, the other characters are just going to tag along because they're fun, but they're not that skilled compared to the level 60 guys because they don't have all the awesome ground gear that I've got on. Um, not the gear itself, but it's the uh, the augments. Augments are almost everything in this game. Um, the most important ones are going to be all these potential boosts, potential up and potential boosts, um, and evasion ups and evasion boosts. Basically, we don't want to die. They can pretty much insta-kill you if you don't do it right. And then everything else that I had, um, another extremely valuable um, one to get as much as you can is Arts Gain TP. Again, every time you use an art, it refills your TP that much more, which is what you need to do for the infinite overdrive. I would say once you get to a certain point that you can infinite overdrive, you don't necessarily need any more of those, and you'd want to focus on other things like your weapon, uh, weapon attack ups and potentials. And again, you can really, as long as you're doing a uh, dual guns, you can switch whatever melee weapon you're using. Um, I've seen the same strategy used on um, Telethia, the, Unbring uh, the Endbringer, the giant guy in Noctilum that'll totally screw you up. And it's really difficult, even with a full party of uh, Ares 90 skills. But I saw somebody with a assault rifle take him on with just... Uh, on foot by themselves. It's insane. But that's not what we're doing here today.
You prick. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Reapply that, reapply it, reapply it, buff. Okay, good. Fill my heart. Take him out. Booyah! <laughs> so, that is how you defeat some of them big old super bosses on just your little old footies. And you can do so many more amazing things than what I just did within this game um, that takes a lot more time. Now, let's go over kind of what I needed to do in order to pull that off. Um, obviously, I did it with kind of endgame gear. Um, there's a gorilla I farmed most of my equipment off of, to the most part. All of these ultra infinite items um, came from one particular tyrant gorilla. Let's see if we could go track that son of a bitch down. At night, I think he's sleeping, so that's good. Take advantage of that. Again. <laughs> um, he's kind of difficult, so I recommend having a skill in Eris 90 or something in order to beat him. But you just rain fire down on him. He did. Uh, do that a lot, and most of the stuff is going to be ultra equipment. Um, the sword I got, um, there are a number of different really awesome swords in game. It might not even be the best, but I got it from, uh... Okay, what is that race? The, the weird alien guys. The prone. There we go. He was one of the prone tyrants that you find, um, uh... In Oblivia, I believe. Yeah. He hangs out in, uh, in Oblivia. Kill him a bunch. He's level 77. And he'll drop the sword that I've got. But the augments are the tricky part. Um, probably one of the most important things that I had here are the um, evasion boosts. Those require quite a few uh, different ingredients, but one of them is a slimy epithelium. Let me see if I can figure out where they're hanging out. Most of them I have to buy with reward tickets, which is a huge pain in the butt. I'll also show you how to farm those. Hey! Ah, there they are. These little dinosaur-looking things with the sacks on its neck. I don't even know, but you take them out. And almost eight times out of ten, usually, they'll drop in slimy epithelium. I think lately I've had terrible luck, so I've been really frustrated by it. But generally, these are the easiest guys to farm for evasion up uh, augments. Evasion boost or evasion up, I can't remember which one. I believe it is, if you have over 150 evasion, or over a certain amount, it's better to have the boosts than the ups. There we go, slimy epithelium's. You need 48 of those to make a single evasion boost, and there's a lot more. The other ingredients are more expensive and pain in the butt, so I farm reward tickets. Uh, right now I've got 957 out of 9,999. Um, you really want to do this stuff after you've beaten the game, obviously, because that's when you can hold the most reward tickets. Um, and you need pretty decent scale to be able to break into doing this method. Um, 
before I was able to get this Eris 90 scale, which becomes available to you to craft post-game, um, I was doing the squad tasks, like you'll see at the bottom of the screen here. Um, they take forever to earn your reward tickets. But there is a method I will now show you. And it requires using the scout console over here. You want to search low-level guys. Any other players, put them in your team. Doesn't really matter who. Fill your party with three of them. So you go into your support missions that also become available post-game. You want to do the one that's called As If A Cloud. Really weird name. Let's do it. Ah, nuts. Sometimes it considers that a whole group. There we go. You killed two at once. So that saves a little bit of time. Um, you can definitely farm these guys without um, an Ares 90 or skill that's really super beefed up. So these guys are all going to have a, uh, a star over their faces after this S class CA. So when I go and return these guys, I'll get a blade medal for each one. So every time you recruit three, do this mission, re uh, drop them off, you'll get three blade medals. Now, blade medals are important because they gain you access to the, uh, the big bad guy, um, the global nemesis that we're gonna be farming. So now I should have a total of four blade medals. I started with one, just got three more. Uh, I'm gonna grab <clears throat> buddies Elma and Lin to join me in this fight because I've got everybody having Eris 90s. So now we can go under squad missions. Um, the thing that sucks about the Global Nemesis is it's not always there. Um, usually, if you notice, when you log onto the network the first time, they'll say, that whether or not there's one that you've encountered. Um, this guy's gonna be hanging around for the next six days from when I record this. Um, but they pop in and out. There's one, uh, Egril at the Zero, as well as uh, the Telethia Plume. That's another one you'll encounter. You can do the same method on him. Um, he's kind of a pain in the butt. You can actually kill your Eras 90s if you're not killing him fast enough. And um, he gives you less beneficial rewards. They're not worth as much reward tickets. So we're gonna fight this guy. The reason we're doing it is because we needed uh, blade medals in order to fight him. It's your entrance fee, basically, one per battle. I'm gonna join with my current party. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this with friends um, unless they are after the same thing as you, uh, which is just to farm. If they're actually trying to have a serious bout with this guy, um, they might be pretty pissed off to see because we're gonna abandon the fight prematurely. <laughs> we're gonna use it for what we need. Essentially, Regardless of whether you win, lose, abandon, run out of time, whatever, you're going to get uh, to take with you uh, the different pieces of items that are dropped by its uh, appendages. Oh, seen us. So I'm going to tell them to board their skills, go on in, and blast them. They make this faster. What the heck? I slipped and she didn't actually <laughs> wind up shooting. That's a pain. Whoa! <laughs> All right. He's got a lot of different pieces to break. If you notice, I'm just locking down on each individual piece. It can be kind of a pain in the butt when he knocks you over like that. Um, if you have an art, use it while he's in midair so that he doesn't uh, paralyze you. That's just bad timing on my part right here. See, he's doing it again. <clears throat> this particular piece would have been better to take out with the uh, Agni Gatling. Cool, I broke that piece. He's got two wings. I'm gonna shoot up one of those right now. Nice, they just blew off his other wing with the Gazra cannon. Uh, anything else? Am I walking onto his middle? He's got a tail. And that would be the last piece. I'm gonna go to the front of him because that makes the Vajra play a little more powerful. 
being rather stubborn. That tail takes quite a few hits. Just bad timing, I need more uh, of my super weapons. There we go. Once you pop off his tail, you just double check, make sure there's nothing else you can get off of him, and there's not. You tell I'm locked onto that weird red part in the middle, so we're going to abandon the mission. Bye. He's like, what? But, but, but this is the battle to the finish. <laughs> Bye. Cool. So, then you want to make sure you take all of these. Because those are what you can uh, exchange for reward tickets. You go into Global Nemesis Battle Spoils, and they'll give you a list of all your stuff. Just exchange it, and look at the reward tickets flow in. If you ever tried to earn them the traditional way, you'll notice just how <laughs> many that is. That's a lot. Um, you'll need tons of them to make half the stuff post-game, because farming all of these individual items can take forever. Some of them just flat out don't drop them. <clears throat> After like 20 battles, it's really bad. <laughs> So you just check the recipes for any of those items, potential ups, evasion ups, um, it'd be good to go there. You just gotta make them, try to put on as many as you can get, and that process I showed you at the beginning will be that much easier. So that's been a real treat playing with you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been Odaku, uh, this has been Daikun. It's here at Aritan. <laughs> and as always, celebrate your fandom. Bye.